In pathogen management, your goal is to reduce and eliminate the pathogens from your farm. But above all, your goal should be to prevent them at all with good farm management practices. So how to get control of bacteria, viruses and other harmful microorganisms? Let's discuss how. In the farm, microorganisms are in abundance and there are big reserves of them at specific places at the farm. So you must understand where they could be growing at your farm. The disinfectant products are vital to control the growth of bacteria and viruses. You must choose the good ones to achieve this goal. If there is too much fish concentrated in one place means the density of them is high at one place, the chances are that infection rate is going to be high. So you need to be extra aware of that and have that in mind while handling the fish. The uneaten feed at the bottom of the tanks or pond or fish cage are one of the key reasons for the spread of pathogens to the fish. As the uneaten feed is the source of food for bacteria and fungi, so they love to grow on them. You must make sure that you are aware of these risks and taking actions to keep this under control. So it's always advisable to never overfeed your fish so you don't have the uneaten feed in the end. Keeping a constant look at the pathogen and viral load at your farm facilities are very important for keeping the microorganisms under control. Water management, which we will discuss in another episode, is also vital to keep the pathogens under control. Well, Despite doing all the good effort to keep the pathogens away, you will be still left with the tough ones. So the best way is to prevent them at the first place. Following are the points you must keep in mind when you are keeping the pathogens away. Hands, clothes and shoes should always be clean before you enter in the farm and interact with the fish for working. Never ever allow the other animals in the farm. If there are rats, birds, bugs, lizards or other animals, always make sure that you don't allow other animals inside. Remember, the fish farm is only for the fish and not for the other animals. Regardless of your scale in the aquaculture farming, you always must have some water quality measurement tools at your farm to keep a check on the water quality. You should routinely check the bacterial and viral load to get the idea of hygiene at the farm. It will be discussed with more detail in water quality episode. You should also have the knowledge of the different temperature ranges at your farm, their effect on the fish growth and the growth of pathogens. Always keep the equipment clean and disinfected and don't use that same equipment which is used at the other farm or part of your farm before you disinfect the equipment. Common example of such equipment is the water buckets, the net to catch the fish and other equipment. You should also have a cleaning and sanitation plan and there should be no compromise on the sanitation. You can have the daily cleaning plan and a weekly cleaning plan for example. The vehicles coming at the farm, be it a truck or a small vehicle, should be considered for disinfection. You can build a sanitation pit at the entrance at your farm so that at least the tires of the vehicles are clean when they enter your farm. You can also use chlorine or quick lime for this purpose. For the pond farm, where there are small boats involved in the operations, it is very important to clean them thoroughly. In case of sea cage farm, it is also important to take the boat cleaning into account. It is advised that clean the boat away from the production area and don't use the water source 
which will flow towards the fish production area after cleaning. While choosing the disinfectant, you should also consider the cost of it, the impact of it on the water environment in your farm and on the environment surrounding your farm. After carrying out the successful production cycle at the fish farm and now in the end when the farm is free of fish, it's very important that you disinfect all the farm and equipment as best as possible. If you have good sunshine available, you can use that to your advantage and dry and disinfect all the equipment with the help of strong sunshine as sun rays are natural disinfectant. For this purpose, you can also use a storage room with high temperature and humidity. 